see. Well, now that I got a laptop under this, <coughs> I decided to uh, make the little mod <coughs> to help its cooling. CPU gets pretty hot. There's nothing much I can do about it. It's a design thing. Besides, there's not much air going through and stuff like that. So, I got a few things here. First of all, a half cup motherboard box. My Swiss Army knife. A fan holder thing from some Dell PC. Last year at some point, I kept it that thing. And a 120mm fan that I pull from some air hockey table. It's an AC fan. That means I can plug it to an outlet. So the idea is, I'm going to put the fan in the holder thing. And then, the holder is going to be attached to the box. And then, right over here, I'm going to make a hole where the air can go in. And another side to release. Or you can go reverse. You can take the heat from the laptop and go away. So neither way, I will find out which one works better. But that's the idea. The laptop will go on top, but the bottom part will be empty. That way the air can do its trick for cooling. And we'll see how it will turn out after I get it done. Okay. So right now, the CPU is at uh, about between 57 to 60 degrees Celsius on idle. So we'll check it out. See what kind of temperature now it's going on. What kind of temperature it's getting. After a little while. Well, this is not a stress test, okay? I'm just doing this for, let's say, one minute. And then uh, we can compare this temperature to the new temperature so then uh, these two are the core temp it's going on pretty much same thing as the uh, the other, other sensor so I'm going to trust the core temps Okay, so one minute in stress test, it's going at I saw 68, 69, 69 degrees Celsius. So check it out, my mod. Okay, so here it is. This hole at the front, this fan in the back. That thing's in the angle, so the air will touch the button of the laptop. And here's the back. It's nicely attached. And then, with like underneath, there's another hole where air can just go right in. So, we're gonna plug that in and see how well it turns up. Now, where's that? Yeah, cool. Here, there it is. Ooh, I can feel it. I can feel the air coming out of the front. Perhaps you can even hear it. I'm not sure. Alright. So, we're gonna run OCCT again. And we can see the difference between the two. Okay, now. I just hope that this actually do something. Just turn it on.
There we go. So it's going at 64 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty good. That's like a 5 degree drop with the assistance of the fan. Next thing I'm gonna try is probably take out the CPU cover and maybe that will cool it down even more. But yeah, otherwise, otherwise it's working. This is alright. The laptop's not that heavy, the box is holding it really good. The air is not that loud, it's acceptable. So, if it gets too hot, this is a good mod. Success! Okay, so the cover is off. You can see uh, the rim there, and there's the processor. So the air should go right through. Let's see how that will turn out. I thought it's only fair if I let it run a little longer than the other two, since I did turn it off. Although I did only turn it off for opening the cover. But anyway, 54 degrees, 53, 54 degrees Celsius for four, 2 minutes in. So that makes a 15 degrees difference with the fan, with the cover on, well sorry, with the fan, with the cover off versus without the fan, with the cover on. 14 degrees Celsius improvement. This is win. Uh, I can dry my hand, dry my sweaty hand just like in the bowling alley. You know, sometimes gamers got sweaty hands. This is perfect. 